the Mao Philippines, definitely check this out. You don't see any backpackers in this city, very, very few foreigners. So I think that's why it got good recommendations to us. I really recommend hitting this if you're in the Philippines. So hope you enjoy and come to Rojas Night Market. About a year ago, recently, they consolidated all the street food in the whole city and moved it onto this one street, Rojas Avenue. It starts out with tons of secondhand shoes and clothes. It's like an outdoor secondhand mall. Never seen anything like that. And then it proceeds into endless street food stalls with some really delicious stuff. And let's go try it out. This is the Baluk and they're telling me I get to choose 18 days or 16 days. So what should I get? 18 or 16? 18 would be more, more duck. Okay, let's do 18 days. 18 days for more duck. <laughs> Take the, the bigger side and uh, crack that on the table. Just like that. And then you turn it and take it from the top. Break that little membrane off and then you put some salt and then you sip that sweet, sweet duck egg juice. Whoa. It's like boiled egg juice. It's good. It's good, bros. Don't be hating on the look. Don't be hating. Just keep peeling it down and then you get into the egg part. Take some more salt, sprinkle it on the uh, little duck in there. Okay. And then take some of this hot sauce they got here and just uh, spice it up a bit. Bam! Spice it up a notch! Okay, go. Un appetit! Balut! Ooh, that's some good hot sauce. That is bomb right there, guys. That's the best hot sauce I've had. It's like almost Tabasco, but good, good chili stuff. We're gonna have some more. Look at this. It's not even that strange. It had a little like duck fetus on the top of there, but underneath it's just kind of like a boiled egg with a hot sauce. I love it. This bottom thing is the pillow of the baby duck. It's, it's like a hard, this is not egg, this is like hard stuff. It's very hard. That is the most interesting thing I've ever tried. It's like a super cooked boiled egg. If you took a boiled egg and cooked it for like a day straight, it would taste like that. It's a combination between that and some really chewy like squid meat. That was some bizarre food. Right this young lady here started selling these in 1972. I like to wear this on my wrist. These are like the wristbands we used to wear when we played football. Okay, this is how you wash your hands, guys. Okay, that bullet was it was good. I like the chick part, but the hard part on the bottom, they call it the mattress, was really hard. Uh, very, very weird. But definitely try it. I've never seen this before. Fried barbecue, not just grilled. Usually this stuff, like this intestines here, is grilled. But this is fried, so I think it's gonna be a lot better than grilled. And it has some uh, like spicy sauce on it. Let's see. I fuck with that. I fuck with that, guys. Intestines is way better fried than grilled. I can tell you that much. Good stuff. It's interesting how you just, you come up here and you just grab whatever you want, put your sauce on, and then you pay after. And it's all based on the honor system, so it's all honesty. This is what you do, you walk up, just grab your fried liver, just spray the sauce on, just like this. Get it all over the place. Just spray your ketchup on it. Grab some rice 
Let's get some more. So the sticks are five pesos each. That's like only ten cents. And after you're done, you just scroll up and tell them how many you had, and you pay. Sweet coconut milk, man. Well, you can't go wrong. You can't fuck that up. Ooh, 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 ooh. After some fried intestines and stuff, it's a really good, refreshing drink right here. Twelve ounces of. Delicious coconut milk. This place is awesome, dude. I'm glad I found this. This they call pastel. Some Muslim food. It's a little hot pocket of rice with chicken on top of it. Look at this. That looks really bomb. I'm excited. That's really good. 25 cents for this loaf of rice with this, I want to say like curry flavor chicken. I'm going to munch this. So this ice cream was on national TV or something. So the line is like 50 meters long. This is crazy. Look at this lucky kid right here. Mango chocolate and durian. So I'm assuming this is going to be the best ice cream on the planet Earth. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try this mango. Oh, mango chocolate durian. It's genius. Yeah, that of the line is way over there. These guys are waiting for the ice cream right now. <laughs> That's amazing. Two hour wait for some ice cream. You've never seen that anywhere in the world. You can get these Reeboks, some Nikes, get your New Balance, your Converse. We actually got some Nikes here the other night because this club, the one and only club here, Echelon, go there, has a dress code, no flip flops. So we caught a cab over here. Got some secondhand, cheap, you know, nice pair of Nikes for probably like $10. Went back to the club. But anyways, yeah, tons of uh, shoes here, secondhand. You and me and then back. Worst ribs go ahead, go and ahead. awful chicken, rubbish seafood. We got some really funny, funny artwork here. Got the Hans horrible. Leonardo's rubbish. We got the awful chicken. There's so many awful things here. I just, I'm just so hungry. I can't just let get 400 grams of your finest fried ribs. Whoa, look how tender that is, though. It's coming right off the bone. Oh my god, my mouth just came. <laughs> Oh my god, it's got like that peppery like KFC sauce and it kind of tastes like pot roast. <laughs> oh my poor guys are being right now. They love chop suey in the Philippines and this is like the best I've had. This is no joke, probably the best beef ribs I've ever had. Wow. That's yeah. how they know it's the world's best rib. They're just like calling that dude. Everyone will just come in here and know. Still call it the best ribs themselves. We'll call it the worst ribs, and it'll still be the best ribs. It'll ever. still be the best ribs. Mm. That is pornographic right there. That is. Better than some of the Filipino women I've had here. Not gonna lie. <laughs> well, we're with the owner, Linden. Everything is Linden's family's tree, Linden's worst chicken. So, Linden is here right now. So, what was your motivation to start this restaurant? It doesn't motivate anybody. I just waiting for somebody to try out food. That's the only thing. Hmm. But you guys, you, you, you never expected that. This no. Is the worst one. We didn't expect it to be this good. Honestly, we tried it and uh, it was, both of us agree, the best rib we've actually ever tried. Yeah, and that was the beef. That's the beef rib. I know, and it's still the best we've ever had for beef ribs. Hi. 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 